and because of this Allah SWT encouraged mankind to get married and to have children and also to raise them in a way that is righteous also we have been commanded to marry those who are very loving so in, in English it's very weak we can't give a word for it but wood is more higher level of love it's a higher level of love so you have to seek from the women those who have this level of love and also that can bear children so that Allah SWT is going to boast about the nation of the Muslims the number of the Muslims because they got married and they had plenty of children and also to get married young why because marriage is half of the religion and this is the practices of all the prophets and messengers and from the things that is shocking today we find some Muslims saying no don't get married don't get married we seek refuge in from from this this is half the religion this is what the messenger of Allah some commanded us with also the practice of all the prophets and messengers why you know, why are you going to you know, how are you going to protect yourself from evil or why are you sorry why are you expecting evil if you are good Allah is only going to give you who is good if once you're good Allah is only going to give you someone who's also good when Asman mentions for you to find any you know, tranquility within them in terms of this is the only way to calm a person's desires through marriage there's no way to have tranquility from one's desires except via marriage and whose speech is this is the speech of Allah SWT. you yeah. want to stop that which is haram that which is immoral it will be by way of marriage any marriage in the correct manner having a guardian and two witnesses and also that tranquility that will be attained is by way of one having that tranquility from one's desires and also the tranquility of mercy and this can only be attained between husband and wife via marriage